Sheikh Al Sudan and I am now in Sri Lanka and to some of my colleagues internationally directors visiting Sri Lanka. Although we don't have micro hydro uh, projects like this in Sudan, what I found interesting because there is a village, uh, Katbola, the village, the village I visited, and I saw a micro hydro station, an old model, I think established by practical action 20 years ago. And, and this micro hydro station is still supplying electricity to 110 houses, so a whole village it still gets its supply, uh, electricity supply from this old model of micro hydro uh, stations. And the interesting thing is, is uh, when I went there with one of the colleagues, the girl, a very young girl, she's only 18 years, her name is Hansia. Hansia runs uh, the station, so she is the one who is managing it, uh, putting it on and off, and she explains how it works to me and, and, and to the colleague with me. And Hansia was born two years after this station was installed in the village. Uh, it's interesting to see the small mini grid out of this station, out of the micro hydro station, connecting the 110 houses uh, along the, the village. Along the, at the same time, you parallelly you see the national grid passing by, uh, tall, high concrete poles, with the national grid passing, but not at all supplying any electricity to the village. So for 20 years, this village has been counting on. Uh, small micro hydro uh, station in store and they, they are managing it they know how to repair it if something happens they know whom to contact so it's totally owned and managed by, by the village and as I said it's, the one who is managing it today is a young girl even born after it was, was installed so I came back talking to my colleagues in the Colombo office uh, very uh, fresh feelings about how the technology can, can change the lives of people